Hi there, Christian Henson from Spitfire with another quick tip here. Um, today, uh, again, it's just yet another one of these workarounds for doing any work, really. Um, I really admire people who do fantastic glitch editing and that kind of fine editing and chopping up and dicing and all of that kind of stuff. But I'm... I'm not great with a pair of scissors at the best of time, but certainly not on my door. And as I've mentioned before, I don't have that much time on my hands usually. So I found a good cheat for glitch editing. If we have a listen to this loop, etc., etc. Good Chad Smith drumming for the Grange there. Um, and I've stuck a tremolo on it. Uh, I make it so it's uh, not smooth, it's, it's really harsh, but the depth about 88%. So it, ostensibly you hear just a little bit of the loop still in there, but um, it's the. I, I would say that the, the tremolo is actually acting like a gate. And then what I do is automate it. So starting with direct current there, coming down to crotchet beats or uh, force. Um, so let's have a listen to what that sounds like. Probably what I'll do is I, I think the fun bit is this 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 fast stuff up, up up here. So we'll just do that. And you can slide that around so it gets a bit tighter with the beat. to make it sound as musical as possible. The other thing I've done is also take uh, an orchestral, and I do love completely effing up orchestras, if you know what I mean. So this is um, a thing I did recently, which is an absolutely massive string band at Air Studios playing a five octave unison uh, riff. And uh, what I've done is I've done the tremolo as before. Sorry, that's the other one. I've done the tremolo as before. Uh, but you'll see that I've got it slightly out of phase because it's not a rhythmic thing. It's not like a loop. We don't have to have it in phase, so the, it'll create a bit of an auto pan as well. I've smoothed it a bit more, and you'll notice that the depth isn't as far down. I've just what I've done is I've added an extra automation parameter where I'm actually just easing in the depth uh, because uh, with an orchestra, for this to suddenly come out of nowhere is a bit of a shock. Um, so let's have a listen to how that works. So there we go, glitch editing without any scissors. Thanks for listening.